Hey y'all, I'm back with another video. I am highlighting some black owned skincare brands that I just purchased. So stay tuned for a full review and how I applied these products in this video. I started off with cleansing my skin with the Camille Rose turmeric bar soap and now I'm patting my face dry. I am going to do one extraction because I have a little pimple that is driving me nuts and I have to get rid of it. It's the little white head and it hurts like hell. Next I am using my clay mask. Okay, you guys follow me on Instagram but I um, recently purchased products from Bolden USA. It is a black owned brand. I used to use a different brand um, that catered to black women but was owned by a white woman and I just didn't like how you know things were played out so I just decided to try a black owned brand but significantly I just wanted to I just want to try out black brands that work for my skin this mask so when I first got it I used it and I loved it it's a clay mask it works great for me because I do have acne issues, um, hormonal acne, um, right before my cycle. So a clay mask is great at getting all those impurities out of your skin. Basically, the brand didn't do right by everything that was going on with the racial tension and old girl just acted like she wasn't going to speak on nothing until it was time, until somebody called her out. Somebody called her out and she kind of belittled the girl. You know, the tone of the girl was kind of aggressive, but you know, in the climate that we're in and you are profiting off of a brand, um, off of a population that is being like taken advantage of, it kind of makes you look bad if you are silent, you know? And then she kind of cursed the girl out and all that other stuff. So that's just a, a quick recap of what happened with that brand. But other than that, I didn't like it. And um, I decided to just buy black when it comes to my skincare brand or support white brands that support black women and black men, okay? So this clay mask, I'm gonna leave on for 15 minutes, then I'm gonna rinse it off, and then we're gonna finish our black-owned business skincare routine. <laughs> okay, I left it on for 10 minutes, now I'm gonna take this washcloth, the hot washcloth, and put it on my face, and pat it off and smooth it off as gently as possible. I love this clay because it doesn't get really, really, really hard. It's not hard for my skin like the bentonite clay. It really, really, it's, it, it pulls from your skin, but it doesn't leave your skin dehydrated or dry or red. It's just, it's just bomb. I love it, it has a great balance. It does what it has to do, if you know what I mean. Okay. Now that my face is dry, we're gonna go in with the next product. Three notes, aloe and citrus fruit. The aloe and citrus fruit facial toner for all skin types. I just spray it on my face and then I pat it in. Hands are clean. I like to wash my hands in between of using each product so that my hands are nice and clean and it's not going onto my skin, any extra bacteria. It just works good. I've noticed my skin cleared up really well when I did that the last time. My skin actually started acting up more since my last chemical peel, which you can go and look, take a look at my first chemical peel. Um, I have that recorded. Um, after I did that, I, quarantine happened. I was eating bad, dairy, cheese, all types of stuff, just eating horribly. And now my skin is um, coming back to normal because I said, Tiff, <laughs> get with the program or else you're gonna be looking crazy out here in these streets, okay? So, next product. 
Now I'm gonna go in with the overnight spot treatment. It fights acne and blemishes from the Bolden USA line. This is a acne spot treatment basically. So I take this droplet and I have an active pimple right here. So I'm gonna put that on there. Anywhere that I have any blemishes, blackheads, whiteheads, anything like that, that's where I'm gonna put this. Um, this is because I have hormonal acne, this is where your hormonal acne usually is. It's usually right here in your cheek area, your chin area, and it just comes up a week to two weeks prior getting your cycle and it sucks. Um, I never had acne growing up, so this is really big and it was very different for me. My skin changed when I turned 30. We moved from Houston to DFW area and my skin just said, what's going on? You know, so it's been a journey and you know, new chronic conditions that I have that um, occurred as well after having kids. And I've noticed that dairy is a catalyst for all of it. So I have to cut the amount of dairy that I use. So I use almond milk. I typically will have um, yogurt here and there, but I try my best not to cut out all the cheese and, you know, dairy. Last but not least, I'm going in with my Baskin Bloom Vibrant Radiance Facial Cream. It has great ingredients in here. We have mango butter, vegetable emulsifier, blueberry seed oil, sweet almond oil, rosehip oil, um, all types of stuff. So I take a little bit of this and then I pat it on my face. Um, I'm an oily type of girl, but guess what? Even if you're oily, you want to still moisturize your skin. If you do not moisturize your skin, you will actually get more oily, okay? I know it, it sounds crazy, but the moisturize, moisturizing your skin makes it better. So don't stay away from moisturizer. Just try to use moisturizer that are non-pore clogging moisturizers. So this is my my nighttime routine. I've been using the Baskin Bloom every night because it keeps me moisturized and it seals in everything that I put on my face and I just feel so much better. So that's it. I am going to actually be purchasing more products from the Bolden USA, their cleanser, their retinol, and their sunscreen and vitamin C. So now we are moisturized, we are ready for bed.